There's an old saying that a leader is hard to find, but easy to recognize. That's Kenny Bowles. As an overnight police reporter, he covered the strange stuff that often happens between midnight and 6 a.m., and he did it well. How do I know? Because I never heard a complaint about him from news director Ray Miller, and that is a credit to Kenny's professionalism. Kenny is a working mentor of mine, a working mentor of mine, and he's earned this award. I wouldn't know the value of the pursuit of journalistic excellence without him. Kenny is without a doubt one of the best managers, best colleagues, and best friends I've ever had. And it's rare in this business to experience all three in one person. This is a newsman's newsman, and I was proud to be around him and to work with him. When the local cable company installed a television studio into Lufkin High School, I fell in love. My dad was in the grocery business. I hated the grocery business. Uh, and I knew that it was going to be my life in Lufkin if I stayed with it. I began looking for a way out. And then that gave me the nerve, shortly after my senior year started, to go out to the TV station. Even though it was on a small scale, every, every aspect, every skill that it required, everything from operating the camera to directing the show to working audio, changing the light bulbs, sweeping up at the end of the day, I, I was there. And I volunteered to do everything. It was new, it was so different from anything I'd ever done. It really had nothing to do with journalism, that came later. It was my ticket out of the grocery business and out of Lufkin. I was ready to leave my hometown. Kenny was a sort of news prodigy. I don't think most people know that he was hired here at KPRC-TV when he was only 19 years old. The newsroom was run by Ray Miller, a legend in the business. On his first day on the job, this kid from the sticks shows up in the big city and the first place he is sent is to a mass grave. It scared me to death at the time. I was not aware that this was a big deal. I kind of thought this must happen every day, every week in Houston. It's Wayne. Yes, this is Mama, baby. Mama? Yeah. I killed Dean. I'm out of his warehouse. I'm with the police, Mama. After a week of working 24-hour days, uh, I went to the to the news director, Ray Miller, and I said, I, I think I'm going to go back to Lufkin. I said, I don't think I can do this every day. And he said, well, you know, Kenny, this does not happen every day. This has never happened before and likely will never happen again. This was a big story. This was history that you witnessed, and you'll be able to talk about this the rest of your life and the rest of your career. As some of you know, in the early years, Kenny appeared in front of the camera, not behind it. The League of Women Voters is appealing to Americans. Those but is it really tapes all of my time? early anchor work, we came to which Georgia's I have not Mexico seen for 40 years. It was like I was testing. looking at someone I knew, like an old friend. I knew him from the past, but I had moved on and left him behind. And I also look at that old anchor work thinking, you know, that guy could have been good. If I was able to work with him now and mentor him and give him a few tips and a few ideas, I could have made a real anchor out of that guy. Let me tell you about the time I worked with Kenny Bowles. The Michael Jackson story was breaking. Bowles was standing behind the desk on the phone, usually two phones, working that story himself. This is an executive who is sending the reporter out to cover a story with an exclusive already in his hand. But it was when Kenny decided to come back home, back to East Texas, and to the legendary KLTV that he found his true calling. He's been a teacher and a guide and in some ways a father figure. You just don't see major top market experience news directors training and, and working with new college grads just starting out in journalism. I've learned a lot from you. You give me an amazing foundation and I just want to thank you so much for all you've done. Given the opportunity to make a difference Every night when our anchors say goodnight, to know that somewhere in there we did a little something that made East Texas a better place to live because of the information we conveyed, the investigative report that shined a spotlight on incompetence or injustice, the political realm or the government realm or even in the, in the business community. But those are all things that, that have made this career the most satisfying, gratifying thing I could have I could have done with my life. And I'd do it all over again.
I visited KLTV earlier this year, and as I walked into the newsroom, I saw the big sign over the door that says, Journalism Happens Here. That's a testament to the great professional Kenny is, and it shows where his priorities have always been. Every time you reach out to give a piece of advice or to assist and to help younger journalists, uh, you're playing a hand in the next generation. Uh, they're they're going to carry the torch on, uh, and to have the, to have the opportunity to influence them in a positive way and in a good way uh, is is just one of the most incredible rewards of doing uh, what I do.